Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is Jeff Airtime Cars. Good to have you back. Um, you know, as one of the newer members uh, on the in the community, the thing that I find really neat about about the community is everyone has a slightly different way they collect or what they collect in terms of sports memorabilia and or cards. And to me personally, that's what I most lo love most about the community and why I decided to get involved. Um, so with that being said, I would like to show you something to kind of change the way I collect. Uh, I recently watched a video of a uh, baseball card collector. Of course, a lot of us know his videos from showing really cool cards and autographs. And one recent one, one recently that he made really inspired me uh, to make this video. Because I hadn't really thought about making a video about autograph in autogra oh, collecting autographs not on cards because to me there's two types of collectors there's a collector that take only collects sports cards and autographs on cards and non auto cards and then there's the memorabilia collector who collects um, memorabilia co collectibles that may or may not be autographed and it, when they are signed it's on a ball or bat or a poster or something like that usually you don't see from my experience what I've seen I don't see card collectors that collect autographs on other stuff and the memorabilia collectors they kind of tend to stay away from cards but recently with baseball collector that he had a signed piece from I believe it was Rogers Hornsby which is a really cool piece um, but it wasn't a card and I really I was like wow that you know that's that's really cool so it made me think about um, some autographs I w would want to obtain not on cards. So I've already added a few to my watch list on eBay that I, eh, I think I'm going to go after. Um, but what it did was it jarred my memory that I do have a pretty good piece already. And I'm kind of embarrassed to say this. It was actually in my attic, so I had to go dig it out of my attic. But it is an autograph of the Say Hey Kid himself, Willie Mays. Now this was a in-person autograph obtained um, circa 1980. Um, when I was a young boy, I was so that would have made me six at the time. But my parents got the autograph for me at a casino where Willie Mays worked. Yes, that's right. Willie Mays worked at a casino. Um, as you may or may not know, a lot of the baseball players didn't make crazy salaries back in the. 50s, 60s, 70s. So a lot of them got regular jobs after their playing days were over. Not that this was a right regular job. Um, he worked as a, he had a public relations uh, position at the Bally's Park Place Casino back in the early 80s. Um, so this was the autograph I received. Um, he he was he was more he was like a greeter I believe from 79 to. 83 I want to say and my parents worked at the casino and they met, met Willie Mays and he signed this pamphlet that Bally's Park Place issued now here is this it's actually the inaugural issue of 1980 see there volume 1 issue 1 from 1980 and he's and why I think this is a really cool piece even though, though it's not a sports card, he signed it on the issue. They did a write-up of having Willie Mays working there with a child, as you can see. And he wrote, Best Wishes, Willie Mays. Now, I have no desire to get this authenticated because this piece will remain in my collection uh, for a long time. And um, I, don't know, I thought it was really cool. So, like I said, I mean... The YouTube community is really cool that it can inspire you to, to look at different aspects of collecting and go after items you otherwise really wouldn't have thought of. Um, so I think that's really cool. Uh, I just wanted to get back to the Willie Mays, um, just in case uh, you don't know the backstory to it. Um, in 1979 or 80, the then commissioner uh, Bowie Kuhn actually 
uh, disbarred uh, Willie Mays and Mickey Mantle, by the way, also um, worked for the casinos from Major League Baseball Association um, because they didn't feel like it was it was it was it was good to have them with baseball activities. It, even though they were, um, it was like a goodwill ambassador. They didn't want to um, kind of have them work, uh, be a, still affiliated with Major League Baseball themselves. So that relation, their baseball relationship ended, and Mays had no affiliation with any team until Commissioner Peter Ubroth reinstated him back into Major League Baseball. Um, in 85 or 86, which I th- then believe he became a coach with the Giants. So I just thought that was pretty interesting because a lot of people don't know that. Um, but anyway, everyone out there, keep making your, your varied videos, with bringing different stuff to the table because it's really cool to look at and I really enjoy them all as I'm sure everyone does. So until next time, YouTube, I appreciate you watching and have a great day.